check out these really interesting owls. Look for some basic shapes that you can see. Circle for the eye. A triangular. easier to start thinking about how you want your owl to look made out of model magic today. Beginning with the end in mind, let's have some fun creating our owls. I'm going to give you a piece of cardboard paper and when you get your cardboard, please paint it black. Set that aside to dry and then you can go ahead and open up your model magic package. When you open up your model magic, you can get it out and you will get this clay to use for your owl. I took a pair of scissors and I cut some off to the side so that I could use it for the circular eyes and the triangular beak. And if I have any left over, I might use it for um, my feet or possibly for the tail. It's really up to you. You'll notice that I'm taking my clay and I'm flattening it out with the palm of my hand. I really flattened mine out pretty so that I could get a bigger owl. You do not have to flatten it out quite as big as I did because I noticed that when I began making mine, the thinner it gets, the less texture is that I could put into my owl. Now using a craft stick, I used the end of that to give it more of a textured look like its fur. I folded over some wings and then I used my fingers to pinch the ears for my owl. With the leftover clay that I had saved, I made two circles and created eyes. Using the end of a paintbrush, I made the holes, and the leftover clay can be used to make a triangular beak. Using my craft stick, I'm going to go ahead and make the side feathers. And since I had a little clay left over, I'm going to go ahead and make my feet. I thought mine was a little bit on the large side, so I squeezed it down just to make it a tiny bit smaller. There, my owl is pretty large, but I kind of like it. When you move into coloring, feel free to either use markers to color your owl, or you can use watercolors. The markers will give you a darker value. It will make the color on your model magic brighter. The watercolors are going to be much more subdued and lighter in color. So I'm just going to go ahead and begin using my marker values first. And then I'll go into my watercolors. The watercolors do a really nice job getting into the areas of your owl where a marker might not be able to reach down into. So the crevices and the small areas that are very difficult to get to, a small paintbrush would do a nice job getting into those small areas. Do you see how that small brush is getting into those hard to reach areas? My goal is that by the time that I'm done painting and coloring my owl, there is little to no white that's showing on my owl. I love the way that I'm creating lots of different textures and the watercolors are letting those textures stand out. That skinny brush will allow me to get into some of those hard to reach areas. Also feel free to use other colors, mix or overlap to create different values or different colors on top of your watercolors. Now let's take a minute and glue the two pieces together. On my black painting for my background, I grabbed a stick and I'm gonna have Mrs. Foxen hot glue that together for me. Okay, so go ahead and see Mrs. Foxen so that we can get the right size onto your project. Now the Model Magic might stick onto the black paper by itself onto the black um, cardboard, or if you want to ensure a good solid fit, I can hot glue that for you also. I thought it might be kind of fun to grab a little bit of scrap construction paper of yellow, make a moon for the corner, 
as well as grabbing my white oil pastel and making some stars for my background. This really makes it look like a nighttime sky. Feel free to add your own personal touches to make your project the way that you want as well. Let's do a real quick recap of how to make an owl. I grab my model magic, cut some off for the eyes and the beak, and then I'm flattening it and flipping it back and forth so it doesn't get stuck to the paper. Squeeze the sides for the corners or the points of the ear. By using a craft stick, this will give you a nice curved line for the feathers. Feel free to make it any kind of shape that you want to make it look like your owl. Isn't that cute? That's a great owl starter. Using the leftover clay from the side, go ahead and make two small circles for the owl eyes. And using the end of a paintbrush, this will work nicely for its eyes. Using some leftover clay, I'm going to pinch into a triangle so that I have a beak. I like to use my craft stick again to make interesting designs onto my owl eyes. I'm also using my craft stick to give it some more wings off to the sides of my owl and using my craft stick again to make my owl feet. Thanks for watching and happy art making!